Hello, this is David, the Backyard UFologist. Glad that you could uh, join me on this Saturday evening around 7.50 Eastern Time. And um, I did not have a broadcast last week. Um, I've got a lot of dental work going on. Um, got kind of depressed. Got uh, two implants to put in. And then you got to wait like three months. And I got this big gap. I look like Farmer John. I'm not being racist or anything like that. But, you know, it's bad. The teeth had broken off. And next week they're going to extract them. Three teeth that was under my other bridge. Everything gone. We're talking almost $10,000 here. So, you know, what am I going to do? Got to have your teeth, you know? So anyway, a little depressed. It's Christmas time. My mother-in-law's coming up to stay with us for a month. I'm not depressed about that. She's almost 90. She is just as nice as can be. You know, I'm, I'm very lucky to have a mother-in-law like that. So it's very cool. My wife's all excited. So that's great. We're going to have a great Christmas. And I have made up my mind to be happy and have the Christmas spirit. If you'd like to uh, chat, the chat should be working. Say hello. And I'm not going to keep you long because I haven't eaten and my blood sugar has really dropped. So I'm going to hurry up and get through this and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Oh, make sure you, uh, I've got 89 subscribers. I would like to get 100 before the first of the year. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. And if you would. I really need it. The donations, all the descriptions are below. Sure do appreciate it. Okay. All righty. Let's see if we can share our screen here. This is my backyard. And I caught some stuff right here. I don't know what it is. But look at here in the sky. Isn't that cool that I got this picture of the stars? Right. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Look at it here in the sky. What? Isn't it cool that I got this picture of the stars? Uh-oh. Uh Look at it here in the sky. <laughs> That's the other computer. <laughs> There's a delay. That's That was a trip. Man. That's, <laughs> I looked around. I didn't see anybody. I, I know. Well, okay, look. I got the picture of the stars. And look, this is something dancing around. I don't know what this is. It's why I've been catching a lot of stuff out there. Now, I'm going to tell you something. There are a lot of weird things going on here in my backyard. This is the Haminescent Ley Line. Uh, it's ancient. There is all kind of uh, quartz, granite, boulders out in a line in my backyard to go all the way through. And I think they go across the street into the other person's yard. I'll track it one day if they'll let me. And back into the industrial park. And they're underneath ground, too. You can't hardly see them. Some of them are sticking up. And uh, it's a lot of energy. A lot of energy here. So uh, last uh, this morning, my wife was uh, not completely awake and was in the chair in the den watching TV. And she heard me come in and say, hello, Allie. And I actually guess what? And she got up, didn't see me, and went to the uh, bedroom, and I was in there sound asleep. So that's happened to me before, too. So it's a lot of crazy stuff going on here. Now, I don't know what this is, if this is a ship, but I did finally catch something that I will say is a fairy. And we'll have that for you just shortly. This is the, the first picture. Okay. So what was that? And then what is this down here? You know, this is just the first picture now. You know, I don't know what this is right here. This was, uh, you know, this over here and over here. You know, I said, isn't that a tire on the car? No, it's not. I don't know what it is. It did not show up, um, you know, with my naked eye. But lots of stuff out there, man. Oh. Yeah, make sure you uh, chat. Hey there, Ed. Ed, I'm glad that you joined. Ed is a fellow DJ. Hey, man, what's going on? Glad that you could join us. Yes, cool. Finally, getting some friends in here. 
All right. Uh, my friends say they, they, they listen and watch and laugh, but they don't say, say anything. So I'm entertaining enough. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Well, okay, here's our uh, next picture here. Okay, we're going <clears> to <throat> get my FM voice going here. No, oh, man, my voice has been crap. It's been crazy up here. Like it was 50 degrees today and it's been like 16, 26. I'm steaming and my throat is killing me. Look at all these orbs. What are these things right here? Look at all this stuff. These elementals. You know, this right here, you know, I think it's an orb. You know, they. I catch them and they're going pretty fast. And maybe I'm catching this one as it's leaving or it could be some kind of ship, you know, and it's way up there. And you got an orb in the tree, some uh, elementals here. So I don't know what all this is, but comment below or in the chat and tell me what you think they are. Check this out. This is the barn. I went right outside the door. It's about three o'clock in the morning. And I keep catching some kind of light on the tree. It looks kind of like this kind of light right here. This is on the move now. But uh, here's your orbs. You know, I just need better equipment, better cameras, night vision goggles, and we'll start bringing it to you um, a lot better. <clears throat> you can't really tell what this is. It's so pixelized and so far away. But I'm thinking when I get into that meditation, you know, look at this right here. What is that right there? Wow. I get into the meditation. That looks like an eye. And I ask them, I'm telling them I'm coming out, you know, if you'd like to show their self, you know, I'll be taking pictures. And, man, they come around right here. This is the uh, right where the fairy circle is on the bottom here. And you can't really see it. But look at all this, elementals and stuff on the tree. These are nature spirits, I guess. Lots of deer, lots of squirrels out right now. Look at this. Now, this may be on the move. And that's, you know, part of it right there. I don't know. It could be two because there's two gold ones that always come around. I don't know what these are, you know. I mean, you can take a look-see and tell me what you think about it. Now, when I go, I got a very, very small screen, two small screens, um, you know, computer monitors. One's a laptop and the other is an old Dell that I used to have that still works. <clears throat> and... Um, my old friend's old computer, and we were able to put Windows 7 on it. So it's working right now until, you know, and Windows 10, it sucks. Well, I don't want to get into it, man, because always updating sucks. Okay. Um, let me vent a little anger. Doesn't that look like a cat? Here's your ears, the two eyes, the nose, sticking its tongue out at me. Um... James Gillian's place at East Seti Ranch in Trout Lake, Washington, Washington State, by the Cascade Mountains. His uh, backyard is Mount Adams. It's about 13 miles. You know, it's the Cascade Mountains, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainer, Rainier. All of that is, is right there in his backyard. We're, we're planning a trip. Well, was planning a trip into all this dental work. So hopefully I can recover from that and go uh, next July coming up, June or July. We're, we're planning. I told him I was coming, but now I don't know. But you can look on the big screen downstairs is what I want to say. I'm bitching because I have small screens. Uh, I need the moolah. I need the mooney. Mooney. I need the loot. Um, the bread, man. That looks like an eye and a nose. But right here, that's a cat. You can tell. And he tells me that the cats were ancient, you know, from the, you know, it's like in Egypt. Um, they they, they worshipped them uh, like they were gods. And I have three cats, and they have not forgot that. I can tell you that right now, because they think they are gods. But no, really, they protected the emperor, the kings, especially in uh, China in the old dynasty days. So uh, the cats, the feline beings... And he really takes this seriously about the feline beings. And they're showing up at his place in full form. And they're getting pictures of them. They're a little blurry, but you can tell it's a, it's a feline kind of uh, uh, entity. 
And he has, uh, I don't know if he's doing it in meditation or what. They're coming to him and he's seeing them and talking with them. So you need to check that out. He's a really cool dude. I really do like him. But let's see this bright one right here. And I can't wait to go there and see the UFOs that come over every night. And they're over there during the day, too. Look at this. You know, and this really got to get some very better equipment. And I will. We will. We're, we're very young right now. We just got started. Only have almost 90 subscribers. So we'll, we'll get better. And we're going to be having some interviews. I'm talking to some people right now. Um, Orbs Realm. We've been talking. We're trying to hook up. I, I think he's in the UK. So it's really hard for us to hook up with a six-hour delay. And he's been busy. And he's had some um, health issues also. So, um, But we will. We will get with it. And there's that light I'm going to show you right there. That's a reflection off the wife's car right there. But I went out, stepped out, and took a picture. And... Look at this light on this tree right here. I thought it was the uh, house down the road, you know. But I said, that's got to be a light. I didn't pay much attention to it until I started looking at the other pictures. So I take these pictures, and I had some really good ones last week. And that was pretty depressed about what happened. And, and, and they were just gone. They, they, were, they vanished off of a card. How do you vanish? How do, how do the pictures vanish off a card? This is the second time it happened. And uh, there's no technical problems or anything like that. And I did not delete them. I don't look at them on the small screen. I can't even see them on that camera. So I always just plug it in, you know, the, take the card out and plug it into the computer. And uh, that's how I see these pictures. This is like the first time I'm seeing them myself. Well, the second time because I loaded them up. But look at this. Doesn't this look like uh, an ohm symbol or something? There's something in here. And it could be even considered a alien or a skull with cross right there. And I, I don't know. But there's good out there as well as bad. So, you know, you never know. But you can see so many things in here. Tell me what you think that you see. All righty. All righty, then. I, I'm not going to keep you long, okay? I, I know I've got to go. Too. We've been shopping. <laughs> And uh, just, just you know, not Christmas, but just for, you know, getting supplies, food, you know, because people are coming for Christmas and you're just going to have drinks, potato chips, things of that nature. And we're both vegetarians. Well, my wife's a, a vegan and I'm a vegetarian, so you have to get stuff in the house. Um, okay, there's that light again. Now, see, there it is on the tree. And it's not as bright now. Look at that. And I don't know what this is. This is a donut um, orb. This is a reflector. And look at the chair. It's knocked over. There's been a lot of deer out there. You saw in my last video. It was a, lots of deer in the fairy circle. And that's a big boulder there. And that's a bird feeder. So I know where everything is here. But right there, I, there's some kind of tree spirit. I don't know. But this is the fairy circle right here. Got a little artifact there, an orb here. Okay, come on, let's 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 move on. All right, some more. Or now, now look at it. It's on the move now. Look at this. I mean, this is the next picture. Look, it's it's like it's a. Um, I don't know. What do you think it is? It looks like it's uh, reflecting its light down with a beam right there, doesn't it? It's a little ship, some kind of ship. Are we? the giants we could be no and all of this activity right here now that's a, a a boulder there there's a boulder there a boulder there and it says quartz in it and there's one over here and we call this the hamanescent ley line it goes all the way to long island sound into new york's uh state well new york the island long island so that's that's what we uh yeah long island and uh, New York City, even. It's not but a hour and a half away. It's not far from here. Um, but it does take you a long time to drive in, especially on a Monday morning. <laughs> Ride the train, the metro. Um, now, here's some more. And it's kind of pixelized, but what do you think you see in there? You know, look at this right here. That's something. 
I don't want to, man, I'm, I'm going to go over, I know. Oh, okay. But anyway, you can see all of these orbs. And then there's a light again. Look, it's, it's on the trees. Look, see? Now it's a little bit higher. What the freak is that? Frack. Let's use Frack uh, Battlestar Galactica language. Okay. Thanks, Ed. For boogie woogie to you too on the on the uh, the chat. I appreciate you, buddy. Um, a lot of people on Facebook. Okay, I'm not very uh, good with my time about when I'm going to be on, so everybody just can't drop everything and join me. But I usually edit this and where it won't be so long, you know, and put a title and an ending to it, and maybe a little music. To make it look a little bit better. Okay. More orbs around the fairy circle. And over here too. There's some more. And they, you, know, you get out there around 3 o'clock in the morning. And it's it, 4 o'clock. It's wow. Now that thing's gone. It's gone now. Let's see if it's over here. There it is. Again, look, it's got some kind of tail on it this time. Check it. Check it. Isn't that something? Oh, that's wow. Look how bright it is. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And, you know, maybe I can catch it better when I get the night vision goggles. You know, I tell you. Now, here's now this is the fairy that I said that I was going to say is a fairy. Okay, there it is again. Look at it. It's moved over from here to here. From here to here. And see the orbs? Look at all of them. What is all of this? This, this is weird stuff right here. This is like ancient writing, uh, Tibet writing, or, or Indian, uh, you know, uh, Hindu or something right here, isn't it? I mean, look at this. Tell me what you think this is right here. I mean, I'd like to know what's going on here in my own backyard. No wonder crap's going on inside the house. You know, we do a clearing sometimes um, four times a day. We haven't had to do that lately. We've been doing one or two, and my wife does it too. We uh, do the James Gillian uh, technique cleaning, and it works. But um, a lot going on right now. Look at that. So look at this. What's in, you know, this is just wild. Can't wait to see it on the big screen and see what this is. But you can tell this is like, I don't know. It's another dimension. It's a ship. Um, there's things inside, entities. And um, there's, you know, that looks like writing right there. It looks like the uh, Hindu writing, the Indian writing, doesn't it? Look at that. There's something there. Now, that's weird. That's in my backyard. That's an orb right there. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Isn't that something? And then you got the same over here. These things are coming through the vortex. So, yeah, let's look at this uh, fairy thing here. There's another one right there, it looks like. Um, and you tell me that's not a fairy. I wish I could have got a better picture of it, but you can see the wings right there in the body. I can see the head right here, the wings, you know, the legs are there. It's just so bright. You can't see the separation. Okay, let me bring it back. Look at that. Look at that. And it's either a fairy or an angel. And then look at this one right here. Do you see on, on the tree again right here? Look at this. And it's usually over here, and it's moved over here by the bird feeder. Remember the bird feeder? So there it is right there. Look at that. Oh, man. wonder what all this is out there. Okay. And you can see right there, that's a fairy. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's a fairy. And it's gone. The second picture is gone. And here's brighter ones. Look at all the orb invasion. Now, this tree is the pine tree I'm always talking about in my backyard. It's almost 100 feet tall. And I'm way back by the front door, and this is all around. So, you know, what can I say? There's things all in here. If you want to 
look through it, you can. I see people, I see entities, I see things in here driving these things, working controls, and you can see them all together, bunched together. Look at this right here. This looks like one of those, oh, Chinese, I know they call it the swastika, but, you know, they used it for good luck, you know, back in the day in China. Um, we're not talking about Germany. Okay, you see right here, two eyes, a nose, a mouth smiling with that. Oh, man, it's just, it's just too much. It really is. You know, when I get Photoshop, when I get enough money to subscribe, you know, for 12 months, um, I'll bring them in closer, invert them, and do the x-ray, and do everything that you can do with a picture, and we will really, really bring it to you a lot better. And that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, brother. Okay. And let's bring this up. All right. Handsome man. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't want you to see my snaggle tooth. Oh, man, I'm so embarrassed. I don't want to smile. I <laughs> smile like this, okay? But nevertheless, uh, thank everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. And subscribe, like, and comment, if you will. Share. And that really helps me out a lot, too. Uh, later on, I'll, I'll edit this, and I'll put up a, a new address <clears throat> to come to see the video. And uh, tweet it out, Facebook it out, and um, Instagram it out. And sometime I'll get one or two new viewers. But uh, if you can, I appreciate it. Uh, bring, uh, if you'd like to make a donation, that would be cool. All the information is below in the description. Uh, go find me, Patreon. You can become a Patreon. And from what I understand, you have to join or you have to sign in. It's kind of, I even hit my own uh, link and had to sign in and everything to get to it. You know, But you can go to uh, PayPal, go find me. It's a lot easier. I sure do appreciate all your help. If you can help me, I sure do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and share. Okay? I sure do appreciate it. Have a good Christmas if I don't see you before then. And stay safe out there. This is David Tier, the Backyard Ufologist. Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. <laughs>